Today we'll be finishing off. Sam is here. So we're gonna go ahead and just leap off from part two. And for the first part, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the shoulder. The one unnecessary flaps we'll kind of see there around the neck, they will be used to help extend the flap out further without shorting it from this uh, pauldrons. I'll go ahead and do it like this. Again, this is basically the hardest part of the design. If you make it more relatively like like your own customizations, like that'd be nice. Although yes, Amos had like different like design styles over the years of the Metroid games. But I kind of went with the I guess the more traditional one, at least the one from uh I want to see Smash Brothers, maybe Metroid Prime, I don't know. And the techniques to get it especially, I do like crimps around the arms. When I separate it, I originally did like, well, I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't do crimps and pleats for the arm to separate the pauldrons. But in this design, I did anyways. So that's just something just to be aware of. Not to mention that the uh, Samus design I showed off before um, actually didn't use that technique. So that's kind of why I mention it. Okay, so those, so that's the one pauldron down. So this next part here, I want to get rid of these. Well, okay, not yet. But definitely want to do like some un, unwrappings here. I'm also trying to um, pose the arm, which originally I try to like pose the Samus ahead of time with the arms. And I was going to do that one pose like... Uh, the one Samus I had that I showed off before, but I actually did a different pose of this Samus design just to make it a little bit more different and also just because it looked a little bit, well, cooler. Well, well, really it was just that that's how it ended up working. So right here I'm like unwrapping a lot of well, I don't want to call it unwrapping. Okay, more like unlocking the layers, which is helpful for detailing and also for being able to create certain flaps in the design. Like once you get past the pauldron parts, like everything else, um, hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Legs is just using, um, using some of those box plating stretches for those who are familiar with it. That's starting to shape up better there. So like those other layers back, so those other two flaps that were behind Sam is there, I use those to, I use those just to help with the shaping more. Shaping as in like giving the arm more freedom, like it's not like locking the arm down or so or yeah, like not locking it in a weird spot. So it was kind of important having those um those flaps on the back too. 
to be folded up like so. Sweet. So now we're moving to the arm cannon. So, so with the arm cannon. So again, this is where I was trying to do this that one pose um, from before. Well, how I did the arm cannon was I mostly did I mostly did pleats. I think that's kind of like the obvious part if, with like the arm cannon details to like separate the arm and the the arm cannon itself. But really like a lot of this is just under the stature of this is why I wanted to turn out to be And I guess what I could also suggest too that I should have done first was to actually narrow the body. I don't know why I didn't do that before. It would have honestly made like, especially like, I uh, gained the rest of the, de the details a little bit easier because um, obvious part to see is that Samus does look like, I mean, yeah, like the body is just not narrow enough. And so it kind of like gets in the way for certain parts. There we go. Yeah, so I'm just changing some certain parts of the arm cannon. So there's like that pleats there, which ends up, which I originally didn't try to go for because I didn't, because I kind of didn't want to shore in the arm, but to be honest, that was like actually the better result to go for. And so I just did the pleat anyways, because it's just important just to, especially for like, even if you can't like see like the backside of the arm, like even that has to have that same technique or else the ball is actually not going to look good. Anyway, so I'm not going to worry about posturing the arms just soon. So now I'm going to get it to the head. So right there I did spread sink there on the bottom part and then did inside reverse folds. The, head's on, the head is honestly not super hard. At least I didn't make it like anything super advanced on purpose. Like right there, that's how I get like the uh, the the, bio, the visors right there. And then as for this part, so yeah, so I crimped that part up there. Just to actually form a, a neck. And also just get rid of those, those lines there. Just, it just looks ugly that way, so. And what I actually loved about this is this actual fold I did here was Samus actually looks like the suit actually looks like a lot more, a little bit more, I don't know how to describe it. I guess a little bit more bulky or um, just a little bit bigger. Like the pauldrons look a little bit bigger. The, the whole armor, well, the suit looks like a little bit, like it makes it look It actually looks like a, the suit that I know from Samus, I guess. Sorry, right, so now we're getting to the open sinks. Not the hardest things. Again, I wish I did that earlier, but it's fine. Oh, 
hopefully you're totally seeing uh, Samus take form at this point. And it was very, it was very important to be, be able to keep that one mil lap um, along Samus's chest there. So I was being sure I didn't like get rid of it or something weird. Otherwise, it just wouldn't look like Samus's suit. And yes, and I guess the the thing here with like the scene kicks, so you'll notice that some of the open sinks they don't really appear like super even with like the layers like there's like some layers that are like a little bit sticking out more and so I so I end up having to just kind of like deal with it but otherwise when the mall gets shaped up like the legs end up getting like a little bit more narrowed anyways same with the body Okay, so I'm just trying to be sure like everything on the top part is still looking good. So then comes the legs here, and you could totally like, again, just pre-crease like ahead of time. I always say that by kind of, I kind of just go with, just kind of like jump into it and, and just do the, Inside reverse bolts here. And I also had to stretch down the legs a little bit too, because they were appearing a little bit short. Which thankfully doing that was actually possible because of those <clears throat> because of those flaps, edge flaps that were <clears throat> Because of those edge flaps that were that were like felt unnecessary, but like ended up being useful for um, being able to like make Samus taller, and once again just helped with the shaping. So like right here, so you notice that the legs are like yeah, like they're a little bit like way too tall looking there. So the way I fix that. is I, I just pull it down like this, so I end up creating those two flaps along the leg. They're gonna help, they're gonna make like, um, adding those details on Samus's legs to be a lot more visible, instead of like pleat, like small pleats or open sinks. I'm also trying to be, to be sure that the legs are still good and lengthened. They obviously can't be too short. Or else the result is that Samus is not going to look that tall. I also had to do a open sink here with this one mil part here because of the stretch legs. So that's like what's going on here now. But doing this way again does help with getting the right height on Samus. Not for the model to be like, like I had certain heights in mind for the model, but like, but of course I didn't want to make Samus look too short from her actual appearance. Well, <sighs> yeah. So with the legs here, I do some spread squashes here. And again, there's just like, just a, a bunch of pulling around the layers here. It's like that one part there, well those two parts there. Like creating those flaps there as you can, 
brief, briefly see helped like gave gave the legs the right length. So I was trying to be sure they were like the right length where they're long enough, but they're not gonna make the legs like appear like too short and make a very long body on Samus, which would look um, pretty ugly. I also didn't matter didn't matter too much, so around Samus's body, it actually already looked good. I just kind of kept it that way. I also got rid of like having the a uh, certain pose I was gonna give Samus here. Like honestly, just worry about posing your designs like on the last part, which. I didn't show footage of me doing it in this video because it would have taken like extra extra minutes and that honestly would have been more boring. I just wanted to give like, I mean show off the, the most, the more important parts of how I shaped it, the designs. So yeah, so legs look great. I mean already the model looks awesome in that matter. Yeah, so you could totally see how like the armor, the suit looks. Like, the suit just looks bigger on Samus, which... Not too big, where it's like... Some... Like, yeah, like a really heavy suit kind of feel, but... But, like, not too small, where it's like... I don't know, Zero Suit Samus with, like... A helmet, an arm cannon, and... Uh... Pauldrons, for some reason. Like, thankfully, the ball didn't look like that whatsoever. So now we're gonna be, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to be sure the... The hips, the legs... All that whole connection looks good. I do have the details in mind with what Samus looks like. And I think the legs get pleated, like, once... Or... No wait, I don't think they get they get pleated at all. It was just like open sinks there, creating that one those two small flaps around the middle points. Like right at this point here, I was actually like pretty happy with like I know I said it before, but I was actually becoming like happy with how Samus was looking right here. Um even if it doesn't like well doesn't look super good yet and i always seem to do this technique a lot with the the, the feet right now where i kind of like i pleat it up i stretch at one corner out and that's just how i kind of get it what was actually annoying about this this part is that especially the one leg was for some reason like appearing longer than the other by a bit and it was kind of bothering me. But I'm gonna get into it now, and I think you'll kind of see it in this video, but I might have fixed it up quickly or something. But we're just about done at this point. So we're looking good here. Well, hopefully we are all looking good, but I mean, hopefully this looks good here with Samus. legs are just about done so the legs do look like a little bit uneven at some parts and that was kind of annoying but then right here I'm just pulling these edge layers like just swivel fold them in more I always like doing that just so they're not like randomly appearing on the, the sides of the design so what I mean by that is like well 
is that for like especially for like bot like designs around like the human body like whenever i'm like not having like extra like layers in the back where i just want to make the the sides of the body look nice and smooth without having like extra layers coming from behind so that was kind of important there of why i was doing that there so, anyway, so this is just some like quick shaping i could show off in this video so this is going back to the head now pulling that one layer up And yeah, so I do a kind of a spread sink there. Leading it down a bit. Again, gotta be sure it looks like Samus. Otherwise, I don't know. I could be fully Master Chief instead, which I think you could take the same base. Maybe, I don't know. The middle flaps kind of get in the way though, so you would probably need to use a different base for him. I don't know, maybe I'll do a Master Chief someday. But anyway, so, um, this is like as far as I went with this design right here. Well, I'm for some reason trying to like do some quick shapings, but yeah, so those are kind of like all the necessary details you could get with Samus here. And this is the Samus you can uh, hopefully get <clears throat> so hopefully you can make this this Samus looks like that Samus and this is the final design right here this is and anyways I hope you like the video I hope you like how Samus turns out like and subscribe if you liked this and I'll see you next time later